control himself. You got to control that beast. Sure. You can't let him rise up. That's Saul coming out of you. Yeah. Where's that Holy Ghost? Holy get a that get a hold of that heart. Oh yes. Amen. 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 Let the Spirit of God come in and get a hold of you. Yeah. Don't let that enemy take you like that. Right. <coughs> we have a greater power. Don't we? Yes, we do. It's within us. Yes. And it's coming forth. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, and you know, saints of God, when all of us, um, not just me, actually, not just you or you or two or three, but when all of us come like that, then what great power we would have. Yes. You know, like Brother Marlow was saying over the weekend, uh, 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 we need to get... To where when we pray, people are healed. Yes. Yes. We need to get to where when we when, when we come in, people are converted. Yep. There's conviction. Yep. Uh, 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 the people speak in tongues again. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, he'll ask us, when's the last time you spoke in tongues? I mean, really, let the Holy Ghost right. come out of you. Yes. My God. Yes. Yes. And here again. It's not to be taken negatively. No, sir. It's not to bring us down. That, that, that sounds sometimes a, a, a hard. Or how can I do that? But see, the greater power is Christ. Oh, yes. Amen. That's the positive of it. That's it. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. A, th this, is, this is meant to bring forth life. There's power in the Word. It's alive. Which is why I'm here tonight. Yeah. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, just a little bit more in here in the third chapter of Don, uh, John, Brother Darian, and and um, and we'll go back over to uh, Romans and we'll get your other thought. You said you had another thought, Brother Darian. That that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say. Unto, uh, unto thee, you must be born again. Praise God. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. All right, back to uh, Romans. Thank you, Jesus. The seventh chapter. Yes. Eighteenth verses. I think that's where we left off. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Amen. Yes. But there is a difference. There is an antidote. There is help. Amen. Brother Don. We haven't come down to it yet. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I know. I, I can see it on your face. <laughs> For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into the captivity law of the sin which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am. That I am. That I am. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? The old man. Who's going to deliver him? Yes. I thank God through Jesus, the 25th verse. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's where it is. Brother Don. Yes. We're seeing two... Well, we'll get into the eighth chapter, but this. Yes. Oh, wretched man that I am, he was crying out for help. Yes. As I see it. Yes. yes. He's saying, I need help. Who can help me? All right. the time. Who can right. deliver me right. from my 
sinful nature. Right. He found it. Yes. And then he said, I thank God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then they, with the mind, I, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Yeah. Now he, from there, there's a different Paul in the 8th chapter. Yeah. Right. There's a different Paul. He says, there is therefore <laughs> now right. no condemnation. Right. He overcame. Yes. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Because of the power of God. He yeah. overcame. Absolutely. There is therefore now no Absolutely. condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, as we were saying, right. uh, but, that but, with and, flesh and flesh, right. spirit, spirit, right. but walk after the right. spirit. Right. He, he, he kept going back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then he come back over here. Yeah, yeah. and then he go back in. in. But yeah. see, one day the day's coming, brother John, when we'll go in and no more out. No more out. Praise yes. God. Yes. And then the key right there to that first verse, brother Don, in that eighth chapter, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes, sister. Not only the Holy Spirit, but Jesus said in John six sixty three, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit. spirit. So we're and, back to and the they are life. Yes. <coughs> the, the words he John six. Yes. 63. Right. Yeah. And and uh, he that's where he he had the uh, a number of them there that were yeah. following him, and and he wanted to see just how true they were to him and he said except you eat my flesh and drink my blood and and they strove the scripture said they they strove to, to get away from it you know they thought what is this man talking about you know that, that, that we can't eat his flesh just like nicodemus was blind he was a dead man standing there he needed to be born again so did all those people that how are we going to devour jesus Eat his flesh, drink his blood. But that's not where it was. That life, that life that we feel tonight, the life that we're gaining from these verses, that's what we're eating. And that's what we're drinking. And, we're getting, and we get to do it with each other. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, brother. Let me add it up a little bit, Lynn, because this is a very good subject, what you are on Yes. It pertains to our own personal life. Right. Paul and all those men, they have to have a desire to change. Because uh, if that I in us, I, I, doesn't have a total consentment to die, <coughs> we ain't going to die. Right. In other words, I want the desire and mm -hmm. sent myself to die to the flesh. Mm -hmm. If I don't want it, I'm going to continue on the same life, right. the same pattern, right. over and over. Right. In the book of Galatians, in chapter 5, mm -hmm. and verse 17, it says, yeah. For the flesh lost us against the spirit, right. and the spirit against the flesh. And they yeah. are contrary. contrary. They want to one another. To the other. To the other. Right. So that you cannot do the things that you will. Right. But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. In other words, you're going to have to be with a, such a tremendous desire to change. Right. And die to yourself. And have a control of your own. And desire. Have yeah. a consentment with yourself yeah. to die to the flesh. If you re read that 16th verse, Brother Pete. Which one? The 16th verse. There, read that. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you yes, shall not fulfill the lust that's, of the flesh. That, that's where that desire comes exactly. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. to, to walk. Now, and you, you know, chapter Jesus. six and verse one and two, and there. Yes. He said, "What shall we say then? Shall we continue in saying <laughs> right. that, that grace might abound? abound? Right. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin?" Right leave any longer again. Mm -hmm. Right, Brother Pete. Amen. Walk in the Spirit. And these, these two are contrary one to the other. 
And then a desire to die. A little further down, right? Yeah, he, he, he went on in, in, in well, that in that chapter fifth, six, in that seven, fifth, eight, right? Those three chapters they are right condensed with all the things. Yeah. And in that, if you go a little further in that fifth chapter of Galatians, he goes into the fruits of the spirit. Right. And after he names them, he says, "Against such, there is no law." There is no law. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Go ahead, Brother John. I'm, 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 okay. I'm <laughs> Brother Darian, did you have another one? Uh, yes, sir. I was just um, reading also in Corinthians, the fifth chapter and the 17th verse. First Corinthians? Um, Second Corinthians? Second Corinthians. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Read it. Therefore, if any man be in Christ... He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Right. Behold, all things are new. Move on. Wonderful scripture. It? The new creature. Yeah. He's not that old creature anymore. And then he begins to walk in that spirit of God, that life of God. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Anyone else? Corinthians 3.18 But we all with open face behold as in the glass the glory of the Lord and are changed mm -hmm. into the same image right. of the of Jesus. Yes. From glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. It fits, Sister Ann. Thank you. Yes. But we all with open face beholding as in a glass the <laughs> glory of the Lord and here's the glass right here. It, it'll show you everything. Are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Well, I tell you, Paul was just a, a golden tongue orator, wasn't he? He could just say it. Wonderful. Wonderful. And Paul said in, in the 8th in the verse, 8th chapter, 2nd verse, and he explained what he says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus has right. made, made me free, free. Yes. from the, the law, law of sin and death from the flesh, the fleshly law. Right, brother Hank. And that's the 8th chapter of Romans. Now, where you were reading? Eight and two. Eight and two, yeah. Going down a little bit further. Yeah. <coughs> Romans eight and two. <coughs> add, add to your notes. <coughs> yeah, I, I wanted to touch on, um, and, 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 uh, and, and if there's anybody else, and if you want to come back to what we've been talking about, but uh, it's, it, you certainly may. But I wanted to go over to uh, uh, the 13th chapter of um, 1 Corinthians. And there, there was something that struck me uh, when I was reading in Ephesians the, uh, the word kind. Yeah. And um, I, I just wanted to, to, to touch that just a little bit. And I think I may even have... Uh, well, we know what the word kind means. Yeah. You know? We know, we, we know when someone is unkind, don't we? You know, we, we, and, and, uh, and here in the 13th chapter talks about charity. Many of us are familiar with this. Uh, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity, now here's the definition of charity. Charity suffereth long and is kind. And there's that word kind again. 
And when I was reading in Ephesians earlier, it said, and be you kind one to another. My goodness. If we're gonna, if we're gonna be like Jesus, if, if we're gonna, if, if we're gonna let Christ come forth, well, we we have to have kindness. It's one of the fruit of the spirit, isn't it? It's a fruit of the spirit. He he doesn't name it there, in in 